Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on our channel, Immortal News. Today we will be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes, and today's top headline section with a health update of legendary singer Bruce Springsteen. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin. Thank you. Number 13. Rachel Morset, known for courageously documenting her cancer journey on TikTok, passed away at the age of 36 shortly after entering hospice care. Her sister-in-law Jamie Walters broke the news, noting Rachel's peaceful passing following a valiant battle with stage 4 tongue cancer. Walters also requested donations to help with her burial expenses, emphasizing the financial burden caused by a lack of life insurance. Morset, a devoted mother of three from Kansas, received an unexpected diagnosis of stage 4 squamous cell carcinoma of the tongue in February of last year, after seeking medical attention for a persistent sore mouth. What was previously dismissed as a sign of her Crohn's disease turned out to be a potentially fatal ailment. She chose to share her problems and hopes with a large online community by filming her therapy and life reflections on her TikTok account. Her death has moved many in this community, with followers expressing their condolences and discussing how her tale affected their lives. Comments ranged from appreciation for her bravery to shared anguish over her death, with many citing her tenacity and candor as sources of inspiration. Her journey not only raised awareness about the reality of living with cancer, but it also served as a heartbreaking reminder of the power that comes from being vulnerable. Her legacy lives on via the countless lives she impacted, the conversations she inspired about cancer awareness, and the strong feeling of community she instilled in her supporters. Tributes to Rachel Morset. Number 12. Russell Manser, once known for his troubled past involving bank robberies, remarkably turned his life around after spending 23 years in various prisons across Northern Territory, Queensland and NSW, has passed away. He became a shining example of transformation and redemption by using his experiences to build a constructive community on TikTok, where he now has over 130,000 followers. Through his platform, Voice of a Survivor, he committed his efforts to supporting and inspiring others who have endured adversity, urging them to find their purpose and courage. Aside from his extensive social media presence, he also presented the Stick Up podcast, in which he engaged in meaningful conversations with famous figures, sharing stories of resilience and optimism. His lobbying work made him a beloved figure among his contemporaries and admirers, many of whom looked to him for inspiration. Friends and supporters expressed their grief and astonishment upon learning of his abrupt death. Tributes flowed in, emphasizing his lasting influence on those around him through his advocacy and emotional support. Notably, his efforts went beyond his online presence. He was genuinely committed to fostering open talks about mental health and available resources, particularly for males. His legacy is one of daring, change, and the deep conviction that it is never too late to change one's life for the better. His cause of passing away has not been revealed, although his final activities included sharing his thoughts and experiences with his online network. He leaves a legacy that will continue to inspire and influence, demonstrating the power of personal development and the impact one person can have on the lives of others. Tributes to Russell Manser. Number 11. Gene Elders, the esteemed fiddle player for George Strait's iconic ace in the whole band, passed away at the age of 80. While the cause of his passing has not been revealed, his loss is felt strongly throughout the music industry and beyond. Elders had been a key member of the band since 1984, contributing not just to Strait's sound, but also to the fabric of country music itself. His musical journey was impressive demonstrating his versatility and enthusiasm for the genre. He had a successful career before joining Strait's band, 
having spent over a decade with Lyle Lovett's large band and appearing on recordings with giants such as Joan Baez, Lucinda Williams, and Dan Fogelberg. His talent was apparent, and his ability to portray intense emotions through violin playing was unrivaled. Fans and fellow musicians have expressed their condolences and recollections of elders. Many people recall getting chills down their spines when elders played the spooky outro to Amarillo by Morning during live concerts. His time in the spotlight during performances demonstrated his talent and the deep influence of his songs. The passing of Gene Elders is important, leaving a vacuum in the hearts of all who knew him and respected his work. His contributions to country music and impact on the genre will not be forgotten. As we reflect on his legacy, we are reminded of music's ability to connect, heal, and inspire. Tributes to Gene Elders Number 10. David Capper, a distinguished former BBC Ireland correspondent, passed away at the age of 91. Known for his daring reporting during some of the most violent periods in Northern Ireland's history, his voice and presence were constant on TV and radio during the Troubles. His reporting on crucial events such as Bloody Sunday and Bloody Friday demonstrated journalistic boldness and integrity. Beginning his career at the Newtownards Chronicle, his early reporting on major events such as the Princess Victoria sinking in 1953, set the tone for a career marked by confronting misfortune head-on. His career progressed from local newspapers to the forefront of international reporting with the BBC, playing a critical role during the Falklands War. After quitting the BBC in 1987 following his coverage of the Enniskillen bomb, he continued to have an impact on the media landscape by coaching emerging radio stations throughout the world. He settled in Donaghadi and pursued his love for travel, music, and steam railroads. He is survived by his three daughters, Chris, D'Armit, and Samantha, as well as nine grandchildren. His impact extends beyond his immediate family to the many others he mentored and inspired during his career. Adam Smith of BBC Northern Ireland described him as a journalistic icon, applauding his dedication to unbiased and fearless reporting. Norman Stockton, a colleague broadcaster, remembers Capper for his upbeat attitude, passion, and pioneering spirit in journalism. His life and work have left a lasting mark on the world of journalism, exemplifying the essence of truthfulness and public service. Tributes to David Capper. Number 9. Maurizio Pollini, the renowned Italian pianist whose profound interpretations of classical music echoed around the world, passed away at the age of 82. He is known for his cerebral approach to life and art, leaving a legacy that is both enormous and subtle, fashioned by his amazing skill and deep philosophical insights into music. Since winning the Chopin competition at the age of 19, he has collaborated with some of the most important composers and artists of his day including Pierre Boulez and Luigi Nono. His ability to bridge the gap between classical and current music with outstanding precision and emotional depth earned him a special position in the pantheon of great pianists. Throughout his career, he was both praised and chastised for the intellectual rigor he brought to his performances. However, it was this ability that enabled him to delve into the depths of the music he performed providing audiences worldwide with performances that were not only heard, but thoroughly felt and contemplated. Many regard his recordings to be definitive, particularly those of Beethoven, Chopin, and the Second Viennese School. His investigation of modernist repertoire pushed and stretched the bounds of piano music, displaying his faith in the instrument's ability to represent the whole range of human emotion and thinking. Aside from his musical successes, he was a man of conviction, 
fusing his art with his political ideals and working to make classical music more accessible to everyone. His death signals the end of an era, but his records and recollections of live concerts will continue to inspire and impact fans. Polini is survived by his wife, Marilisa, and their son, Daniele, a gifted pianist and conductor like his father. Tributes to Maurizio Polini. Number 8. Tristram Powell, a renowned television director known for his work with some of the top screenwriters of the 1980s and 90s, including Alan Bennett and Alan Plater, passed away at the age of 83. His career saw a huge shift from directing arts documentaries to creating riveting dramas that caught audiences' hearts and minds. His early work with documentaries on prominent personalities, such as Thomas Hardy and Marcel Duchamp, served as a solid foundation for his subsequent explorations into theater, where he brought to life stories with profound human connections and rich plots. His foray into theater was marked by works that were more than just entertainment, but also reflected on life, love, and the intricacies of human relationships. His major achievements included an adaptation of Michael Palin's East of Ipswich, and the feature film American Friends, which demonstrated his ability to construct pictures with a consistent pace and a strong feeling of place. His work with Alan Bennett on films such as Talking Heads and Telling Tales solidified his reputation as a filmmaker who can bring writers' dreams to life. Beyond his directing accomplishments, his legacy is defined by a commitment to storytelling that struck a personal chord, whether through adaptations of classic works or original screenplays. His work not only entertained, but also elicited thinking and empathy, making him a beloved figure in the world of television drama. His passing is a tremendous loss to the arts world, but his work will continue to inspire future generations of filmmakers and audiences. His ability to navigate both the documentary and drama worlds with equal skill and enthusiasm results in a rich tapestry of work that will be admired for years to come. Tributes to Tristram Powell Number 7. Milton Diamond, a distinguished American professor specializing in anatomy and reproductive studies at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, passed away at the age of 90. Diamond, who withdrew from the university in December 2009, continued his breakthrough research and writing until his full retirement in 2018. Throughout his lengthy career, Diamond looked thoroughly into human reproductive behavior, making substantial contributions to both academia and society. His early academic efforts led him to a Ph.D. in anatomy and psychology, which laid the framework for his future research into human reproductive behavior. Diamond's work was not without controversy, particularly his long-running disagreement with psychologist Dr. John Money about their opposing views on human development. Diamond is arguably most recognized for his involvement in the David Reimer case, which questioned long-held beliefs regarding gender identification and adjustment. His findings recommended a more informed and consent-based approach to hermaphrodite care, arguing that such individuals should be reared in the gender with which they most likely identify, without shame or secret. Diamond contributed to professional journals and public discourse on a wide range of themes, including reproductive rights, the study of human attraction, and the spectrum of human gender identity. His contributions went beyond academia, he frequently appeared as an expert witness in court and was a go-to source for the media on reproductive behavior and identity. Diamond held distinguished positions and garnered various accolades for his work, including the British Geyers Research Prize and the German Magnus Hirschfeld Medal. His advocacy for a more comprehensive knowledge of human reproductive behavior and identity has made a lasting impression. Number 6. Daniel Beretta, the beloved French voice of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and a multi-talented actor, singer, and composer, passed away at the age of 77. His astonishing career extended several decades, and he became a beloved character in the field of voiceover artistry, 
lending his distinct voice to about 30 films starring Schwarzenegger, including memorable appearances in Terminator 2 and True Lies. His voice was not confined to action films. He also voiced characters in animation, including Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast, demonstrating his range and depth as an artist. His artistic career began in his adolescence, when he sang cabaret, gave concerts, and composed music that many people admired, including renowned chanteuse Mireille Mathieu and crooner Nino Ferrer. His influence stretched beyond the microphone as he collaborated with Ennio Morricone to create the music for the 1973 horror film The Relentless Pursuit. Aside from his contributions to film and music, he was committed to preserving and promoting the Corsican language, dubbing films into Corsican and broadening the cultural tapestry of his home island. His daughter, Barbara Beretta, continues his heritage as an actor, singer, and artistic voice director. As we commemorate Daniel Beretta, we celebrate a life full of artistic accomplishments and a passion for storytelling, whether through voice, song, or composition. Tributes to Daniel Beretta. Number 5. Jean Bros, a respected member of the Indiana Senate from Indianapolis, passed away at 65 after facing health challenges. Her passing has had a tremendous impact on her colleagues, constituents, and family, who valued her commitment to public service and fight for health, access, and equality. Senate Minority Leader Greg Taylor expressed profound sadness, highlighting the tremendous vacuum left by her departure. Senate President Pro Tempore Roderick Bray and Governor Eric Holcomb both paid touching tributes, recognizing her enduring dedication to Indiana and her role as a source of hope and inspiration. Throughout her term, she prioritized vital problems including maternal health, food security, and affordable utilities, exhibiting her profound compassion and desire to make a real impact in people's lives. Her decision to step down, expressed in a heartfelt farewell to her people, reflected her wish to spend her remaining time with loved ones while leaving a legacy of strength and resilience. Her nearly two-decade-long career was defined by her duties as an assistant Democratic leader and her significant legislative efforts. Her passion to her community was evident in her work with the Indiana Department of Economic Development and many community organizations, demonstrating her strong desire to promote positive change. Representatives Maureen Bauer and Mitch Gore have provided personal views on her warmth, leadership, and long-term influence. As plans for a funeral ceremony are finalized, her mother, former Senna Billy Bro, and family mourn her death while recognizing her extraordinary life and contributions. Tributes to Jean Bro. Number 4. Barry Silver, a prominent figure in both the legal and religious communities of Florida, passed away at the age of 67 after a battle with colon cancer. Born in Mount Vernon, New York, he made significant contributions as an attorney, politician, and rabbi, leaving an everlasting mark on the lives he touched and the communities he served. After graduating with honors from Florida Atlantic University and earning his Juris Doctor from Nova University, he was admitted to the Florida Bar in 1983. His legal acumen and dedication to justice led him to a notable career in law and politics, including serving as a member of the Florida House of Representatives for District 89. His passion for advocacy was evident in his work, including his lawsuit challenging a Florida law on the grounds of religious freedom, demonstrating his commitment to protecting individual rights. Beyond his legal and political career, he was a spiritual leader serving as the rabbi of Congregation Ldor Vador in Palm Beach County from 1996. His guidance and wisdom were a source of inspiration and comfort to many, fostering a community built on compassion, understanding, and respect. Colleagues, congregants, and those who knew him have shared heartfelt tributes, reflecting on his remarkable legacy of service, advocacy, and faith. His passing is mourned by many, including his family, friends, and the countless lives he influenced through his work. As arrangements for a memorial service are underway, the community remembers Barry Silver for his dedication to making the world a better place. 
His contributions to law, politics, and spiritual life will be remembered and cherished. Tributes to Barry Silver Number 3. Chuck Seelbach, a notable former Major League Baseball pitcher for the Detroit Tigers and a respected educator, passed away at the age of 76. Born on March 20, 1948, he left a lasting impression both on and off the baseball field. Prior to turning professional, he was a standout collegiate player, most notably throwing a no-hitter for the Cape Cod Baseball League's Orleans Cardinals, a performance that baseball fans still remember. His talent earned him a first-round pick in the 1970 MLB draft by the Detroit Tigers, following a great collegiate career at Dartmouth Collegiate, where he was among the school's all-time leaders in several pitching statistics. His professional career was highlighted by his performance as the Tigers' closer in 1972, which helped the team win the American League East Championship. His performance that season, with 14 saves and a respectable ERA of 2.89, demonstrated his skill and competitiveness. Though his career was cut short by injury, his contributions to the Tigers' 1972 season are a proud part of the team's legacy. Aside from baseball, he spent more than 39 years teaching European and American history at University School in Hunting Valley, Ohio. His dedication to education and impact on generations of students solidified his reputation as a revered teacher and mentor. His family, which included his son Corey and Broadway star son Michael, brightened his life. The baseball world and those who knew him as an educator grieved the passing of a man who succeeded in many aspects of life. Tributes to Chuck Seelbach. Number 2. Leszek Długosz, a multifaceted Polish artist known for his poetry, acting, singing, and contributions to the famed Krakow cabaret Piwnica pod Baranami, passed away at the age of 82. He passed away at home in Krakow, Poland, after battling cancer, leaving behind a vast legacy spanning multiple artistic disciplines. Throughout his life, he was deeply involved in Poland's cultural fabric, particularly in Krakow where he co-founded and became a fixture at the Punica Pod Baranami Cabaret. During the People's Republic of Poland, this facility was more than just a performance place. It was also a hub of artistic and intellectual activity. His work went beyond the cabaret, including poetry collections, musical recordings, and radio and television appearances, enhancing Polish culture with his intellectual depth and artistic range. In addition to his artistic accomplishments, he became involved in politics, demonstrating his dedication to the community and the nation's cultural legacy. He received various accolades throughout his life, including the Silver Medal for Merit to Culture Gloria Artis, the Commander's Cross of the Order of Polonia Restituta, and the famous Order of the White Eagle, highlighting his major impact on Polish culture and society. Friends, co-workers, and admirers grieve his death remembering him as a friendly, smart, and incredibly gifted guy whose works included poetry, music, and activism. His contributions to Poland's artistic and cultural landscape will inspire future generations to carry on his legacy. Tributes to Leszek Długosz. Number 3. Today's Top Headlines News 1. At 74, Bruce Springsteen, the legendary Born in the USA singer, candidly discusses the impact of his battle with peptic ulcer disease on his illustrious career. After being forced to postpone his tour, Springsteen made a triumphant return to the stage, revealing in a serious XM interview the severe challenges he faced, including the inability to sing due to intense pain. Despite months of uncertainty and the fear of never performing again, Springsteen credited his recovery to excellent medical care, allowing him to resume the tour. His recent shows in Phoenix and Las Vegas marked a significant comeback, showcasing his undiminished passion for music and performance. The Springsteen and E Street Band Tour, spanning 17 countries and 52 shows, promises an electrifying continuation of his storied career. News 2 
Liam Gallagher, once Oasis's wild frontman, has taken a sobering turn, grappling with Hashimoto's disease, arthritis, and psoriasis. This shift has forced the 51-year-old rocker to renounce his legendary party lifestyle for a more subdued existence. Following a hip replacement due to arthritis, Gallagher has swapped late nights for early bedtimes and partying for gentle walks. Diagnosed with Hashimoto's in 2017, he now faces daily battles against his body's ailments, finding solace in family, pets, and introspection. Gallagher's stark transformation underscores a mature acknowledgement of life's fragility and a commitment to health over hedonism, reflecting a broader human story of resilience and change. News 3 In a gesture of unity and compassion, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have extended their support to Prince William and Kate Middleton, both publicly and privately, in the wake of Kate's recent cancer diagnosis. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who have often been in the headlines for their complex relationship with the British royal family, made a heartfelt statement wishing Kate health and healing. Their private outreach underscores a moment of solidarity amidst challenging times for the royal family. As the world watches, this act of kindness highlights the enduring connections that transcend public disputes, reminding us all of the importance of support and empathy in the face of adversity. This moment serves as a poignant reminder of the power of family bonds, even in the most public of lives. Number 1. Amechi Munagor, a renowned Nollywood actor, has tragically passed away at the age of 62 after a prolonged battle with illness, specifically kidney failure which required dialysis and led to his recent appeal for financial support for a kidney transplant. Morris Magny, a social critic, announced his passing and expressed tremendous sorrow at the loss of such a towering figure in Nigeria's film industry. Munagor, born August 20, 1962, in Idemili, Anambra State, Nigeria, was a famous actor and producer who made an unforgettable impression on Nollywood. His career took off after he played Akunata Kasi in the film Taboo One, and he became noted for his outstanding talent, adaptability, and the depth he gave to his roles. In 2016, his outstanding contributions to comedy were recognized with a nomination for Best Actor in a Comedy at the AMVCA 2017. Prior to his distinguished acting career, he earned an economics degree from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, and began his career with the News Agency of Nigeria. His decision to pursue a profession in acting over an economics degree highlighted his love of the arts and narrative, a decision that enriched Nigerian cinema and thrilled millions across the world. Aside from his professional accomplishments, he was a loving family guy, survived by his wife and four children. His involvement in community service, particularly his participation in humanitarian events alongside other Nollywood stars, demonstrated his dedication to giving back to society. His legacy goes beyond his filmography. It is based on the inspiration he provided to young performers and his contributions to the evolution of Nollywood. His death is a tremendous loss for the artistic community and everyone who knew him or was moved by his work. Tributes to Ameki Monagor. <laughs>